Yo, what's going on guys? It's Matthew here with Gadget University and I wanted to show you guys a quick demonstration of the Motorola Webtop application that comes with the Motorola Atrix 4G. Uh, basically the way you activate Webtop is by purchasing the HD multimedia dock or you could purchase the laptop dock. The laptop dock retails for $499 and the HD multimedia dock retails for $189 but it comes with a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse also a multimedia remote. Uh, on XDA uh, there has been a, a hack that came out where now you can access webtop by just using an HDMI cable. So as you see I use the mini HDMI cable that came with the phone and I have it plugged into my LG LED monitor and which it will work on anything that takes HDMI basically. Um, it has been tested to work with a DVI converter so if you have a DVI on your monitor you can still do this. Um, so basically what you're going to do is, when you plug it up, oh, hold on, okay, when you plug it up, you're going to be prompted with an option to specify Motorola Webtop or Entertainment Center. Now, if you did not have this hack um, set up, then you'd, ha you'd only have access to the Entertainment Center. This does require your, you to have the... Uh, Deodex ROM from XDA. I'm going to have everything in the link on what to do to get this. But you're just going to select Webtop, webtop and it starts start showing up. Now, this is the Webtop application. This is what I was on earlier. Um, now, what's cool is if you look at my phone, my phone has turned into a trackpad. So I can literally navigate the screen by using the trackpad left or right and also if I want to type if I want to type a virtual keyboard will come up it's pretty uh pretty neat um, hold on one second let me show you okay go ahead and focus back on there now I'm not sure what most people have uh experienced it also works in landscape too um, I'm not sure most people have experience with the web top but my experience with it so far has been very good it's very quick um, new display connected it's asking if I want to change the display settings I can choose yes and I can actually specify how I want it to output now this only supports 720p output at the time um, at this moment so that's the best you're going to get. This is a 1080p monitor, of course. So I do have a little bit of letter letterboxing around the sides. Um, but if you see, YouTube and everything works good. Uh, let me turn this up. I wonder why it's not playing any, any voice. But this is a running all completely from my phone. There, there is no lag this is uh, playing at 360p. Uh, let me see. Let me show you guys some of the web browsing. But basically, uh, Webtop is a Linux-based operating system that gives you all the basic features uh, like web browsing. Um, you can access your memory in a file manager. Takes a moment for that to come up. Uh, also, you have a window over here on the right, which is basically, excuse me, on the left, which is basically your phone. Now, once you're in here, you have all your, you have access to everything that's on your phone. Let me open this up. And you see I have all my wallpapers that are showing up right now. And it's pretty, it's pretty quick. I mean, considering that this is all running from a dual core, one gigahertz phone, um, this is very comparable to a high-end netbook I wouldn't say a laptop but a high-end netbook um, you can if as you can see here let me uh, move my camera closer but if you see here here's my phone if I wanted to I can rotate it landscape I can maximize it so you can see my whole phone screen And I can hold the left button down, and you see I can add widgets just as if I was on the on the uh, as if I was on the phone. Um, I can scroll. 
it's kind of hard to scroll because I have it so big. And that ticking was me having to move my finger. That wasn't the lag. But I can click on here and you see I got Twitter. And up here there's like, it's actually tabs of the applications that I have open on the phone. So let me go back out. Um, but right now I have uh, Facebook open. And if you give me a second, I can close back out of this. I was watching the NZs. I'm sorry. He's hilarious. And you can make phone calls directly from here. Pulls up your phone, your phone dialer. But I mean, considering that I don't have to purchase an app, I mean, purchase the dock to access the web top now. I think that's probably one of the coolest things about this. Um, and this just shows that XDA and Android, um, they can pretty much accomplish anything they, they want to on these phones. Um, also, what's cool is the Entertainment Center. Now, this is what you can actually do on any device that can take the HDMI. Now, you can do this on right out of the box with uh, Motorola's phone. Um, with the Atrix, I mean. And it turns your controller into like a keyboard. I mean, as a, like a remote. Let's see here. We can go here. Now we get to my SD card. And that has all my videos. We got perfect couples. And you see it just plays. And it's, this is 720p, so you see the quality is pretty good. And I'm not sure why there's not any sound. kind of throwing me off but that's been the brief demonstration of webtop and the xda hack uh, i will post the instructions on how to do everything on gadget university you guys uh let me know what you think if you have any questions on how to do this and i'll get back to you guys as soon as i can thank you and y'all take care